Are you looking for some inspiration before you get your training day started? Well, if so, then look no further. Because in this video, we're going to be going over my top five favorite movies of all time within the day trading space. I'm talking about from classic Wall Street to modern day financial thrillers. These movies will have you sitting on the edge of your seat, but also give you an in-depth kind of feeling and look into the trading space on both the physical and the mental and psychological aspect of trading. You guys know how big I am on psychology. So with that being said, said guys if you haven't done so already smash that like button before we go ahead and get this thing kicked off and if you're brand new to the channel subscribe for some more content like this let's get into it so kicking off our list at number five we have the infamous big short right the movie the big short if you guys haven't seen it already i would definitely advise go watching that it was a movie that came out back in 2015 and it was actually based on a true story uh, of the financial crisis back in 2008 where a group of traders made a large bet against the housing market and made an absolute fortune. Now, I don't want to go too much into debt with the movie, but it was a movie that was literally on the charts for a very long time. A lot of people probably, I mean, if you're watching this, you probably heard of The Big Short already, and you've probably already seen it. I don't know. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't. If you haven't, I would advise go see it. Now, little disclaimer, the reason why I put it at number five on my list personally is because even though it was a great movie, it took me a while to actually sit through it. I'll be honest with you. It took me a while. It was actually two times. I saw the whole thing on the third try. All right. So <laughs> clearly me and wifey, uh, uh, wasn't really uh digging it in the beginning we actually did fall asleep the first time the second time we got distracted and then the third time it was like a charm we got through it it was a good movie i got through it she didn't get through it but we're not going we're not going to all that but uh it was a good movie so we're putting a big short at number five go check that out if you guys haven't done so already coming in at number four we have another great great movie that was actually based on a true story it is the rogue Trader. Now, if you guys have never seen The Rogue Trader, this movie has literally had me on the edge of my seat almost the entire time. It was about a guy named Nick, all right? Again, a true story. Um, a guy named Nick, a single trader that actually caused the collapse of an entire bank. That's right. One guy caused the collapse of the Barron's Bank back in 1995. This film really takes a deep dive into the high-pressure world of trading and the lengths that some traders will go to cover up and recover losses. I mean, revenge trading to the absolute max the rogue trader provides a valuable lesson about the dangers of greed in the market as well as the importance of risk management and if you've been following me for a while you guys know what we talk about when it comes to that kind of stuff i mean the seven deadly sins of trading i mean this this alone right here is why this movie had had to be put on this list and if you've never seen it before i'm actually gonna have a link that you can watch it right here on youtube watch the full movie right here on youtube uh link down in the description below so definitely definitely go check that out man i i love the movie <laughs> at number three we have the famous glenn gary ross this movie came out in 1992 and if you are in any kind of sales or marketing or, or whatever the case may be you have a thousand percent should have heard of this movie already now although this movie has nothing to do with day trading it is an honorable mention on this list and i think it's in everybody's list of top movies that you should watch for day traders and here's why this movie gives you an in-depth look at the cutthroat world of real estate but more importantly gives you a, a insight of the high pressure, high stakes environment of sales and really what it takes to be successful, like how far people will go to achieve success, which again, it's really is mentality, man. It's psychology, it's mindset. And that goes hand in hand with trading and how you should be thinking about um, trading and success in your trading as well. Now, aside from all of that, I mean, we're looking at the lineup. You got people like Alec Baldwin, you got Al Pacino, you got Jack Lemons in this movie. I mean, it was just all around an absolute phenomenal movie. Like I said, if you're in sales or marketing or whatever the case may be, you most likely saw this movie already. I and mean, even if you're not, I mean, you probably seen clips on the internet right <laughs> coffee is for closers little things like that i mean just great movie all around go check it out coming in at number two on our list we have the boiler room that's right the boiler room that if you if you've never seen the boiler room before i'm gonna put some perspective here for you guys look fellas let fellas fellas my girl sleeps through about 96 percent, 96 percent of all movie nights all right she's gone in the first 10 to 15 minutes and i'm sure some of you can relate she watched this entire thing it ended and she could not stop talking about it this was an absolute phenomenal movie came out back in the year 2000 with an incredible lineup from ben diesel to to alec baldwin i mean the boiler room gives you an in-depth look at some of the behind the scenes i mean just unethical and ruthless practices of wall street it took place in long island new york and you guys already know man new york in the building 
But um, the Boiler Room is just an absolute, I mean, it had to be on this list, top three, right? Top three, it had to be top three from the scenes. I mean, the favorite, my favorite scene is uh, when they're in the room, they're getting hired in the very beginning. Absolutely insane. Some of y'all probably saw it already, but I I'm not going to go to, I'm not going to spoil this. No spoilers, no spoilers, man. But you got to check out the Boiler Room if you haven't done so already. Go watch it. And last but not least, we have our number one title. And before we get to number one, here's what we're going to do. If you've made it this far in the video and you haven't done so already, drop a like for your boy. Obviously, you enjoyed it, and I think somebody else just might enjoy it as well. Subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe and uh, drop a comment right now. I'm going to give you guys three seconds to take a wild guess of what you think my number one is going to be. Before we get to it, don't cheat. Pause the video. Drop a comment down below of what you think number one is going to be. Three seconds, and let's go. So here at number one, we have my favorite movie. One of my favorite movies of all time. Of all time. The Wolf of Wall Street. That's right. I mean, I, I don't think I really need to go too much in debt with The Wolf of Wall Street. But The Wolf of Wall Street, guys, follows the infamous Jordan Belfort. One of the most iconic, all right, uh, figures in the Wall Street world. I mean, the lifestyle that this guy has lived, the things that he's been able to do. I mean, even still to this day, absolutely crushing it, trending, you know, making his content, doing his videos and stuff like that. Still keeping up with the pace of today's world. But absolute legend from back in his time. And the role is played by Leonardo DiCaprio, which we all know uh, is an absolute savage on screen. Now, there was a lot of crazy, unethical things that I wouldn't really recommend this movie for kids. If you got your kids around, make sure you put them to bed first because uh, there was some wild, wild scenes. But if you have not seen The Wolf of Wall Street already, I mean, I don't know what it is that you're doing with your life, man. I, I, <laughs> right after this, you need to go to whatever streaming system service that you that you got and buy yourself the wolf of wall street or stream it wherever it is that you can stream it at because it is definitely worth the time but this is another one that kind of gives you again the psychology you know psychology of looking at the behind the scenes and yeah the lifestyle is cool you're know, getting into the lifestyle but it also gives you a good insight of what not to do and how not to think and how some people are willing to go so far to achieve that success that nothing else matters including the spending and what it is that you spend on right so that's pretty much a wrap for this this video but before we go I actually want to hear from you guys what are some of your favorite day trading or finance based movies drop it down in the comment section below and if you haven't done so already make sure you go ahead and check out this video right here where I talk about what I believe it really means to be a successful Forex day trader with that being said guys it's your boy Rico aka Rockstar FX I'm out peace